Hello. A quick video today as I'm clearing out my whole old workshop which will soon be moved into a slightly larger but much more YouTube friendly layout. And one of the things I've come across is a lovely old power supply. It's about the same age as me but the way it works is quite odd and quite frankly a bit hazardous. Let's start with a relatively modern power supply. I'm going to set the uh, voltage limit to about 13.8 volts and the current limit of around 300 milliamps. When open circuit the voltage rises to 13.8 and when I short the uh, terminals together, then it quickly limits to 300 milliamps. Let's see if young Scott here can get a spark from that 300 milliamps. Scott, can you touch those two probes together and we'll see what kind of spark we get from 300 milliamps. Any kind of a spark? Tiny. Tiny little spark. Because 300 milliamps isn't very much current. Yeah. Right. Thank you, Scott. Now Alex is going to do the same experiment with the old HP power supply which has roughly the same voltage and current uh, limit settings. Ah! I thought you said it was going to be a small spark. <laughs> that was a bit exciting. Let's see what the user manual says. A high current pulse may damage load components before the average output current is large enough to cause the constant current circuit to operate. Uh, you don't say. The way this power supply works is a bit like a light dimmer. It chops the mains frequency AC feed to the smoothing capacitors to the required uh, output voltage or current limit. I can't remember if it does this before or after the mains transformer. I can't find the diagrams right now, but I think it's before the transformer. But either way, the effect is that the uh, current limit only activates after it's discharged the large output smoothing capacitors. I've not taken it apart, but I did find this picture uh, on reddit.com which shows the capacitors. The power supply is quite slim. It certainly doesn't look its age, but it's rather quirky. Just like you, Dad. Um, thank you, Scott. I used to use it for fixing NICAD batteries, which had uh, failed with nickel whiskers internally shorting the cell. I'd set it to 1.5 volts and 100 milliamp current limit, put the shorted battery across the supply, and the huge spike would usually clear away the internal short circuit. They had to work with the circuits which were available to them back in the mid 1960s, so you can't entirely blame Hewlett Packard for this compromised design. But by the time the current limit activates, the poor little components that's caused the overload is in orbit along with the traces from your PCB. You can see why I call this the power supply from hell. Well, I hope you've enjoyed looking at this quirky uh, power supply. Please remember to like, share and especially subscribe and I'll do more uh, videos on audio, video and technology in the future. Bye for now.